Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Katie. If you're new here, welcome. And today we are going to be studying a little bit in 1 Corinthians as well as 2 Timothy today. So I have two different verses, but we're only going to be journaling in one for today. But since they connected so well together, I just thought that we could just study on both today. So before we start, I always like to say a quick short prayer before we start. So that way God's going to lead us where he wants us to be and he'll help us journal along on our journey together. So let's get started. Dear Lord, thank you for bringing the word that you have for me to share with others today. I pray that it will be an encouragement to others. And I pray that you help us to journal together and that you help us to learn something new about you today, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so the first verse that we are going to look at is in 1 Corinthians chapter 9. If I can find it really quick. It is 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 24. It says, Don't you know that the runners in a stadium all race, but only one receives the prize? Run in such a way to win the prize. Now everyone who competes exercises self-control in everything. They do it to receive a perishable crown, but we an imperishable crown. So I do not run like one who runs aimlessly or box like one beating the air. Instead, I discipline my body and bring it under strict control so that after preaching to others, I myself will not be disqualified. So that is 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. And now we're going to go into 2 Timothy. After that, I have it marked with washi tape here. Okay, so this one is 2 Timothy chapter 4, and it says, and it's chapter 4, verses, verses 6 through 8. And it says, For I am already being poured out as a drink offering. And the time for my departure is close. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. There is reserved for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on that day, and not only to me, but to all those who have loved his appearing. So I love that verse. We're going to be working in that. And it talks about winning the race and how we just need to just go for it and, you know, shoot for being with God, we need to strengthen our relationship with Him every single day because there is only one way we really want to go. We want to be with Jesus. So that's the way we need to be running and we need to be racing for Him. So I have a couple different things I'm going to be using today for our page. It's going to be fun and really easy and super fun. So I have some sticker books. We're going to be using sticker books today, which I don't think I have ever used yet on the channel. I have in my own journaling, but we'll be using the Daydreamer and the fitness book. I'll link down everything that I used down in the description box below. And then I'll also be using some stamps as well, but I haven't decided which ones I want to use in there yet. So we'll be using these. So let's go ahead and get started just having fun and decorating. So I did see these beautiful flowers in here that I just really, really liked. And I'm hoping that they'll kind of match with the colors. If not, we'll just make it work because I really like these flowers. And I thought this is an easy page to show you guys that you don't have to be elaborate in your journaling. You don't have to use a whole bunch of fancy stuff. All you need is just some fun stickers and just have fun with it. You know, you don't have to be elaborate with paint and all like the extra stuff. You can even use dollar store stickers. Whatever stickers you have on hand, go ahead and use them. You know, use whatever you have handy. But that's what I like about Bible journaling is don't worry about what you use. Just go ahead and have fun with it. And I love these verses because that's what I've been fighting lately. I have been at a constant race trying to get closer with the Lord and this year so far I feel like I'm running like 
almost first place, like all the way this year. I've been really trying hard to get closer with the Lord as much as I can this year. And you have no idea how much I have changed. I have changed so, so much in just the past 10 months or yeah, 10 months of this year. I've really, really changed a lot. So yeah, so God has changed me so, so much. And I really just love this Bible verse about how it shares that we should run the race and keep racing until we get first place. So I love that. I'll be using some of these stickers too. Let's see. I like this one. It says a little progress each day adds up to big results. And that's just not talking about fitness. It's talking about, well, I feel like it's talking about our relationship with God. How every little progress we take every single day leads to a big result in getting closer with Jesus. So I may add that sticker somewhere onto the page. I feel like that would be a really great sticker to use. Let's see what else we've got here. I know there's a couple of girl stickers I really liked in here. Just kind of showing that exercise and getting ready to go and run the race. <laughs> You know, I like this. Oh, they're talking about boxing in the other um, other chapter, weren't they? You know, we may save the boxing girl and use that for another page. And that other page, we may do that for after Thanksgiving, maybe. Oh, here's one. Here we go. She's running the race. <laughs> so there's got to be a girl here who's running. And there is, so yay. And we won't use just her. We'll use some other stickers in there as well. But we'll put her. Eh, don't stick down until we know where we want to put you. But we'll use her and we'll stick her down. That pile over here. I always like to run my stickers down that way. I know they're going to stick on there. And they won't come off. Let's see what else we have. I like to celebrate each little victory. I like that one. I use that one. I like that one. There's some really good stickers in here. Like, to me, using these in Bible journaling, like, these are really great stickers to use, honestly. Like, not just for exercise, but for really helping. Like, I, li I like the Celebrate Each Little Victory sticker. That's really cute. I like this one. Don't see. Oh, wait, where'd it go? The, difficult, the difficulty of today is the victory of tomorrow. I really like that sticker a lot. So we'll use that one in our page. Let's see. Where should we put it? So I do want to journal the actual verse as well. So I think I'm going to put this in here. have a little extra thing there and I think I'm going to use the girl sticker that I saw the one that says celebrate each little victory so I like thinking about this sticker as how every time you say no Satan I'm not going to do that I'm not going to disobey the Lord you can have a little victory and it's not just a little victory it's a big victory so I really like this sticker a lot so I think I'm going to put it right here, right above the flowers. And I really like that idea of how every time we defeat Satan, we get to celebrate. And Jesus is celebrating with us how we are defeating him. So I really like this sticker a lot. And I, I think I need to see that more often. So that is a really cute page. I'm already loving it. Let's go ahead and add some stickers or stamping sorry stamping to this page now i think i'm probably i think i'm going to use different different lettering today instead of i mostly use the cursive but i think we're going to use the printing stickers today as well okay so i will be using two 
um, phrases that are used in the verse. So I'm going to be using, I have fought the good fight and I have kept the faith. So we have, we have not finished the race yet. We're still racing. So I'm just going to be using, I have fought the good fight and I have kept the faith. So let's go ahead and put those into our page now. So I think it turned out good. I may have gotten over, a little overzealous with the <laughs> ink stamping, as you can see, but I think it turned out really nice. I have I have fought the good fight, and then I put down here, I have kept the faith. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you guys can check it out a little closer. But I think it turned out really, really cute. I'm really happy with it. And as you can see, the stamping really doesn't show through. These pages are pretty thin but I know you can use gesso and stuff but I can always put something on the other side because it didn't bleed through or anything which is nice I like these ink stamps for that reason or the, the ink for the reason that it, they don't bleed through so that's nice but I think it turned out really fun this is just a quick and easy thing that you can do with stickers and with stamping it's just really simple really fun I think it turned out really nice and how it goes with the verses for today. So if you like this, please give it a thumbs up, a little uh, ink thumbs up. And don't forget to su subscribe down below if you're new to my channel. And I post every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so you guys can join me on those days. And I hope you all have a wonderful day and a blessed weekend. And I will see you all in the next video.